fucking goddamn pissing and shit. Son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill him. A motherfucking pissing and shit heel. Are you looking at me? Oh, fuck you. What, am I conspicuous? And what are you looking at, Lord Ass? What are you doing here anyway, huh? You look like a rhinoceros. Can't a woman just drink her Perrier in peace, God? Hey, damn it! Excuse me. What? Would you please slow down a little what, bit? What, sweetheart? Would you please lower your voice? You're having a chaotic effect on lunch. I just want to sit here and drink my Perrier. You know, we have a $5 minimum. What? It's lunchtime. There's a $5 minimum. Uh, I pay. You know, you got no grounds for throwing me out. Actually, we do. Yeah, oh, yeah? Your conversation is disturbing to the people around you. My conversation is disturbing to the people around me? Uh, I'm disturbing them? Have you listened to their conversation? Because it's all pretty damn insipid. Well, the manager would like you to leave. <sighs> yeah? Well, why did he say so himself? I mean, I've got to tell you something. Yeah? You're oppressed. <laughs> Thank you, I know that. Uh, it's something we got in common. Well, to tell you the truth, I probably have a greater feeling of solidarity if you hadn't stolen my tip. Uh, are you accusing me of something? The man who sat here before you comes in here every day. He eats the same thing and he leaves the same tip. 22%. Well, today he stiffed you, sweetheart. No, he would not stiff me. He stiffed you. Well, anyway, the manager would like you to leave. God, God damn it. It's the same wherever I go. I'm in an alley. I'm on a grate. I'm in a hallway. Benches, vestibules, uh, islands in the middle of Broadway. I'm just trying to get some sleep. Sometimes I'm nursing a cold. I'm trying to look like something you might possibly not want to kill. Someone always comes along and says, move on. Well, I got just so much movement in me. Somewhere along the line, someone's got to say rest. What are you looking at, you miserable hooker? <laughs> wait, wait. No, I, living on the streets my whole life? You, you think I've spent my whole life in these clothes? Well, I... Oh, no way! I used to be lower middle class. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, and you? I'm an actress. Uh, oh, I figured. So, what do you want? You want to hear my story? Yeah. Ah, fabulous, sweetheart. Fabulous. How much? How much? Yeah. Very much. <laughs> no, no. How much are you willing to pay? <laughs> I mean, you could get the whole story for a lump sum, or I could uh, charge them per episode. I don't believe I figure this. I got 15 or 16 really good episodes in my life. Uh, I could give you each one for, say, 25 bucks. Not one red cent. What? I'm not going to pay for some talk. This is not just talk cooking. This is the story of my life. Uh, if I give that away, what have I got left to sell? <laughs> Forget it. I've got customers anyway. Okay, wait one goddamn minute. <laughs> okay. Quiet. Now, now, let me get this straight. Uh, you are seriously suggesting that I give you intimate details about my life, and, and I get nothing from it. The manager wants you to leave. Oh, screw the manager. <laughs> you know, why don't you go wait on those floors at the next table? Give them the gift of your presence. You goddamn fucking Bloomingdale cars. You a few stinking pigs. I ain't got you fucking whores. Listen, you gotta get out of here right now or so hell on this. Watch. I'm getting the manager. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking 
horse. Fuck. Why, why is everyone always picking on me? I just want to be like anybody else and drink my Perrier water.